10, leading Utah State 29 to 24. Kevin Harlan alongside John Sunbold. And in our first half, a lot of things happened. First of all, 11 turnovers by the Buckeyes, but it really didn't seem to phase them. Well, pace of play, we talked about it. It may favor the Aggies. Jim O'Brien's fine with that Ohio State. They have 11 turnovers, and, and some of them unforced. The Aggies, on the other hand, not shooting the ball well, but they've challenged Ken Johnson time in, time out. They must get open shooters open. I mean, they've got to rely. They can't always attack the rim, and again, they're only shooting 30-some percent. That's a trouble. Ken Johnson has been absolutely magnificent with his eight points, seven rebounds, and John, four block shots as you take a look at the halftime stats. Well, the rebounds highlighted, and one of the reasons, when you shoot 33%, there will be a lot of rebounds. Again, this Aggie team, 49% from the field, they've relied too much on Jorson scoring the ball over Johnson. Hasn't happened. Turnovers 11 for Ohio State. I'm sure that was addressed by Jim O'Brien in the locker room. And let's send it over to Charles Davis. All right, Coach Morrill, please assess your team's play in the first half. Well, we did some things pretty well in terms of controlling the tempo, but we're not rebounding the ball near well enough, and, and our defense is, is not quite where we need it to be. We can't give Ohio State 50% and get be like that on the boards. And expect to win. Now we caused some turnovers, and that's good. We got to screen a little better. All right, coach. Good luck to you in the second half. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. Buckeyes come in at 20 and 10, 11 and 5 in the conference, and at large berth sends them to the fifth seed here in the East Region. Utah State, the 12th seed. They're here by winning the Big West postseason tournament. Stu Morrill, who we had a chance to visit with yesterday, uh, had some real big shoes to fill when he took over for the Aggies some three years ago. Well, Larry Eustace, who's now at Iowa State. Stu Morrill has filled those shoes well, huh? 55 wins in the last two seasons. Last year they lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament to UConn. And that's where he's been when he was at Montana. Stu Morrill was with Mike Montgomery. And that's a relationship that continues very strong to this day. Montgomery, the head coach, of course, of Stanford. And here we go now, beginning our second half. Kevin Harlan, John Sunbold, and Charles Davis from Greensboro, where it is rainy outside, but the intensity and the buildup we're waiting for all week long here in North Carolina. And there's a quick shove and a foul blown on Brian Brown. We had a very nice first half himself for the Buckeyes. Well, this Aggie team, five seniors on the floor. Though. Well, this ball club, Troy Roll, last year was the guy that could take people off the dribble, created a lot of things for teammates. This year, more balanced squad. I think this second half, I think we'll see more of Tony Brown. Sean Daniels needs to see the ball more. Bernard Rock's got to find some opening. Here's Curtis Bob working on Sovovich. Daniels plucking it inside for Brown. Double team. Johnson got a hand on it, but Brown, Brian Brown, is the one that got him on the elbow and a second foul called on Brown. Well, the post down low. Two guards going at each other. Defensively, guards always wonder how they can pick up a foul. Brown's trying to get out of the way so Ken Johnson can come over. Brown at the free throw line. He's 85% and far and away the best free throw shooter on this team. It was 62% a season ago at the free throw line, and John, this year, 66% as a ball club. Well, not great, but not bad. But when you got a guy like Tony Brown on the free throw line, you want him there more, though he missed. Here comes Ohio State. Aggies back to that 2-3 zone. Johnson with a spin. And a Utah State foul is blown inside. And against the zone defense, Ohio State is, has been able to get Ken Johnson touches inside. And I would expect the Aggies maybe to double team him when he catches. First half, they didn't worry too much about that. That will open up Savage, Brown, Connolly, Darby. They're outside shooters. Jorison picked up his first foul. They go to the freshman Williams. A two man game with Brown. Savovich into Williams, who tries to muscle his way inside. The reach in by Bob, and Curtis Bob picks up a foul. Ohio State patient on the offensive end. That's his second. Not getting in a hurry. Watch the reach here. Bob across the forearm. Deion Bailey will come in for Curtis Bob. The Aggies have four starters averaging in double figures. 
Sovovich inside. Uh, reached by Johnson, a shot by Jorson, fronted by Bailey. And they give this to Jorson, who picks up his second. You know, good seal by Johnson down low. Sovovich pass right on the money. Stu Morrill trying to figure out how to guard this Ohio State team. Third team foul on the Aggies. And Aaron Paz thrown by Brian Brown. Number 12 in the turnover category for the Buckeyes. And John, they've only been averaging 15 turnovers a game this again, season. Another, you know, unforced air. I mean, he just threw yeah. simply straight out of bounds. And Darby and Brown looked at each other. Frustration to the sideline. Coaches can't figure that out. <laughs> another hook by Jorson falling backwards. And that's one way that. The Aggies have been able to go at Ken Johnson this afternoon. Well, one of the rare shots in college basketball is a hook. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, all-time leading scorer, it seemed like at every level. Developed it, and you wonder why more seven-footers don't shoot it. Shoot it the best in the land is Kirk Haston of Indiana, who shoots that hook, was the Big Ten scoring leader this year. Nice ball rotation by the Buckeyes with Brent Darby knocking it at three, and the biggest lead is equal here at 32 to 27. A three by right, right between the eyes. And the opening, Daniels down the lane. He's got soft hands. He's got a terrific feel for how to play the game, and he finds teammate Rock in the corner. Rock's got two threes. And the Aggies get back in that zone defense, change the tempo in a hurry, don't they? You like that? What well, I do on their part. They want to keep this a low-scoring game. Ohio State, what I've been impressed with that they haven't forced. Sometimes higher seeds or the big schools get in a hurry to say we got to force the issue because they get frustrated. But another turnover. And Jim O'Brien just can't believe it. 13 of them for O'Brien. He's coach at St. Bonaventure, Boston College. He's the former A-10 coach of the year, the Big East coach of the year, and this year the Big Ten. Jorson. Working on Johnson with that hook again. Daniels is there trying to get the ball, but it's picked up by Darby. And here come the Buckeyes. With a screen by Johnson and turned by Darby. Darby and a kickoff to Brown. With Darby getting it inside and back out to Sovereign. That's what Darby does best. The penetration, gotta help. Find open shooters. Johnson and Jorson. Doubled inside by Bailey and a rebound by Jorsen. <laughs> Bailey the drive and the kick out to Rock for three with the rebound. A good position by Zach Williams, the freshman for Ohio State. And slowly but surely, as this arena fills up, they will start cheering for this Utah State Bowl. They're ready, waiting to erupt to see if this Aggie team can get the lead. Going inside, Johnson had it kick off his face, another turnover. Nobody can catch that pass. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. There's a fastball at the feet. 14 turnovers for Ohio State this afternoon. And many of them, Kevin, against a zone defense. Just trying to do too much. Rock again into Daniels, the pump fake, and a rejection by Johnson. His fifth block shot today. Right. And his position, John, is always right there. Well, it looked like Daniels might have tried to make a pass on that play, but Johnson, as you said, right in the middle of everything defensively. Ken Johnson, the two-time Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Ohio State has had three leads as great as five. Utah State has had two leads as big as one. You can access live stats from every tournament game through this interactive telecast available on Ultimate TV. Kevin Harlan, John Sunbold, Charles Davis in Greensboro, where the 12th seeded Utah State Aggies are playing tight with fifth seed Ohio State. Tony Brown puts it up and in. Yeah, what you like about Brown is ability to shoot created for himself. A knockaway. Once he gets free, that releases. One of the better ones you'll see. He's got eight. Ties the game at 32. Darby with the spin on Brown. They've been going head to head the entire game. Again, the Aggies can stay at this 2-3 zone defense. 
Ohio State unforced airs just passing it around sometimes. Sovovich tries to squeak it inside to Johnson. Rotating to Darby with the shot clock at five and a Aggie foul. And this goes on Rock. I think Rock understood shot clock down. He was going to challenge a shot by Darby. And quick move, good attack to the knee. Jim Martin has checked in for the Buckeyes. Out there with Brown, Darby, Johnson, and Sovovich. Rock and Brown out there for Utah State with Daniels. Vig is back in, and Bailey outside Darby. Driving on Bailey, watching the shot rebound by Vig. We are tied at 32 apiece with 14.31 to play in the second quarter. Ohio State is led by as many as five. Utah State is led by as many as one. Ohio State has turned the ball over 14 times. Yet they've been able to lead most of the game. Bernard Hooks flashing his way inside for two. And Utah State has their biggest lead today. And here comes a half-court trap. They'll go back to that 2-3 zone defense. Effective so far. Ohio State doesn't even look, Kevin, like they've broken a sweat in the first six minutes of the second half. Utah State is on a 10-3 run. Martin with a spin and a shoot, and he finds a deuce. Tough hoop by Martin down low. Coming off the bench. Jim O'Brien needs some energy on that offensive end. Another tie now at 34. We knew this game had the most potential for an upset of 12 against a five. Yeah, this Utah State team comes in. They are confident. Five seniors they played a year ago in this tournament. They practiced well yesterday. They thought they matched up well with this Ohio State team. Ohio State, not a typical Big Ten team. They're not as big and as physical as you would think of Big Ten schools. But they've got the coach of the year on their sideline, and Jim O'Brien and Sean Conley has checked back in for the Buckeyes. Rock got a screen from Vague and slithers down the lane. Another two-point lead for the Aggies of Utah State. Well, Bernard Rock quick with the basketball. He thinks pass first, scoring second. Last two times down, he's taking it all by himself. Rock has 12 points, but seven have come in this very important second half for Utah State. Slavovich, Conley is a sophomore from Massachusetts. Here comes Darby, who got the surprise start today. Driving down the lane, launching the runner. Ohio State better when Darby more aggressive with the basketball. When he puts it on the floor, he's quick. He can create things. Next time down, he gets in the same area. Ken Johnson, he has a lob if he puts it right by the rim. Rock is hounded by Darby. Here's Tony Brown feeding now on top to Bailey. About 12 and a half into the second half. It's big. Plants it. Rebound by Johnson, who gets his ninth rebound of the game. Darby with the drive and a foul called on Bernard Rock of Utah State. Rock, a good defender, tried to time that perfectly. Darby's been going to the left every time. That time, Rock tried to get there, not in time. But he had, he had an idea. Darby continues to go to his left when he penetrates. Here's Sovovich from Montenegro, Yugoslavia. The drive, and the lane was open. Johnson is there to get it. And it's picked up by Dion Bailey, the senior, who dances into the defense. Great pass to Brown for three. Fade is there to tap it back in for the Aggies. Aggies with more energy than this Buckeye squad right now. Eight minutes gone, 12 to play in the second half. Well, Sabovich missed an opportunity with the layup. Bailey with the active hands to knock it away from Ken Johnson. With the zone. Now, the one thing Ohio State's getting caught just standing around too much. And if you stand around, that allows the zone defense to stand around. Makes it easy on this defensive team. Vague just picked up his first personal foul. Jeremy Vague, a junior, didn't start playing basketball at an organized level until his uh, junior year of high school. At the free throw line is Tim Martin, the junior from Dayton, Ohio. 
Near the conclusion of every NCAA tournament game, we'll select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. To date, Chevrolet has contributed approximately $8 million to the scholarship funds of America's colleges and universities. And Martin gets another. Now Ohio State from the free throw line, two or three. But Utah State leads by one. Utah State shot 33% in the first half, but shooting 60% in the second half. And a look at our summary, North Carolina, and we are in Greensboro, has hosted more tournament games than any other state. And the Buckeyes, one of seven Big Ten teams in the tournament. And how about that? Two number one seeds, Michigan State and Illinois from the Big Ten Conference. A year ago, two of the final four teams, two Big Ten teams, Michigan State and Wisconsin. Bernard Rock watches it go through, and now the Aggies have a lead. Now oh, what a second half for Rock. He's got nine points in this half alone, 14 on the ball game. Six of nine from the field. 40-37, Utah State by three. Sadovich. Not many open looks for this Buckeye team against this zone defense from Utah State. Brown, the drive into Rock, the pitch to Connolly for three, puts it in. Well, the purest of any shooter of Ohio State. Brown caused the action by the penetration. We are tied at 40. And an up away for a second by the hustling Tim Martin. Bailey retrieves it, finds Ray. Running Ray inside to Dion Bailey. Bailey always moving without the basketball. Dion Bailey. again tries to wiggle his way inside, and now has scored the last five points for the Buckeyes. Trying to trap him in the corner. Go down the corner, try to trap him. Good offensive move. Again, you've got to break that zone defense down. Off the dribble or by the pass in the center of that court. Find some open looks. Brown for three. Knocked away. Inside by the hustle Brennan Ray. 22. Another will send out Brown and they'll bring in Curtis Bob. And that's for Utah State. Brown will leave for Ohio State. And Darby is back in with Conley, Savovich, Ken Johnson, and Tim Martin. Utah State, none in the last 20 minutes. And the Buckeyes, of course, already in this game with 15 most in the first half. Well, they've done the things the Saggy team needed to do. Ohio State has to be more aggressive. Darby has to be better with the basketball. Open some up for Savovich. Or Connolly on the outside, Ken Johnson on the interior. Went Darby for three. Ooh, well. Launching and missing. Savovich a good rebound and follows with two inside for Ohio State. Soft touch over the top. Darby way off so far. Three of nine from the field. Buckeyes answering this little run here by the Aggies very well. Daniels muscling inside through the double. Throws it away. Savovich the steal. And the drive. And the deuce. Wow, coast to coast. The Buckeyes are on a run. Nine to two to be exact, and they lead it 46 to 42. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Refusing to die. Well, they just scored four in a row. We said they had to get some stops and then find it's drive time. Get to your Goodyear retailer, where right now you get in the avenue all by himself, coast to coast. One of the first breaks this Buckeye team has had against the Aggies. Daniels on top. Curtis Bob on the wing. Bailey with Conley on him. Jorson guarded by Johnson. And to get it that high is something, but there's another rebound pulled down by Johnson. He's got 11. Boy, and Jorson has to finish those. Kevin, he's right at the rim. A little soft left hook. And a foul called on Rock. He has 
three for the Aggies of Utah State. Yeah, terrific drop step and right to the front of the rim. Johnson with another rebound. 11 this afternoon. Solovich and Connolly on the offensive end for Ohio State. Kevin are now asserting themselves, causing some problems. Ohio State more aggressive. shooting 52 percent, 40 percent shooting by Utah State. The Aggies have hit three three-point shots, and the Buckeyes have hit four three-point shots. Now, difference in this ball game: 15 turnovers by Ohio State, only three for this Aggie squad. Nice inside by Tony Brown. Got 10. We're approaching eight minutes to play in the second half. Conley to Savovich. Utah State has to communicate. Conley's knocked in one moment. Savovich. Got to make sure they find the shooters. They'll be looking for Johnson, but Johnson has been stuck in a pool of Utah State double teams all game long. Shot clock down to six. Conley. Finger. Another three. Good patience, good ball movement, Conley. Catch and release the transfer from Conley. Providence. He's gone three of three. And Ohio State equals their biggest lead of five. Rock with Darby defending. And a foul called on Darby with a little handshake. And you now feel a little more energy from this Ohio State team. Connolly came in here in the second half, last five minutes. A couple threes he knocks in. Jim O'Brien and the Buckeyes, the fifth seed on top of the 12th seed Aggies. <laughs> Ohio State has out rebounded Utah State 32 to 16. Ohio State has allowed Utah State only four offensive rebounds on 29. Miss shot. Rebounding has been a key for the Buckeyes. John, if those numbers are not lying. Right, again, Utah State, if they miss, they're getting one shot, and then they're done. Offensively, Ohio State, Sean Connolly has been the guy that has come in giving them energy. Eight points all in the second half. Daniels inside. We thought he'd have a bigger presence today, and maybe he will as he sneaks that in and brings the Aggies to within three. I like the ball in Daniels' hands because he creates them. Got a soft touch around the rim. Good pass for the ball. A pretty solid first half. Been quiet so far in the second half. Conley trying to get it inside, and Tony Brown inadvertently kicked it out of bounds. And Stu Morrell went back to the man to man defense. We've got to find Connolly and Savovich. Now those two guys are creating some good things on the offensive end. When they go back to man to man, though, Ken Johnson may open up. Savovich inside. And tapped up and in by the freshman, Zach Williams. Well, good screen set by Ken Johnson, allowed Solovich to the rim. Help defense came, missed the play up. Williams there to finish it up. Rock, good catch. Brown driving on Conley. Down to 6.15 to play. Daniels had it knocked away. Conley has been all over the floor in this second half. Well, normally a starter this season. Coming off the bench today, Jim O'Brien decided to go with Brent Darby, a guy who's been on a hot streak as of late. Last eight ball games, 14 and a half points a game. Put him in the starting role, but it's been Connolly the second half to ignite this Buckback team. What a shot by Bernard Rock, bumping into big bodies down low. And now he has 11 in the second half and 16 for the game. The Aggies down by three. And Bernard Rock told us yesterday, last year disappointed, only one of seven hit against UConn. Playing well this afternoon, 16 points. Conley trying to dance. Bob is there. Five second call. Pretty good defense. Solid defense. Conley thought he got bumped a couple times. And for Utah State, Bernard Rock, this second half has ignited 11 points. <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> the angle. That was a beauty. Chorson over Johnson. Rebound by Savovich. He'll take it again. Clearly 
Going inside to Zach Williams. Good feed to Johnson with the shove inside on Bob. And an eggy foul. And a good foul. Good foul by Bob. Would have been an easy dunk. Bob's Bob, yeah, the hustle. The hustle coming back. Good interior passing unselfish play here. Put Ken Johnson on the foul line, 71% free throw shooter. You like to say that the free throw difference for both teams is significant, but that is only the fifth free throw taken by the Buckeyes. They're three of five. As Brown comes back in and Conley takes a much deserved breather for the Buckeyes. Utah State has taken just two free throw attempts the entire game. Yeah, and give credit to Ken Johnson. They've tried to attack him. He's in the defensive position, but he has not taken ball fakes. He stayed away from body contact when Utah State players are going into him. Sonovich picks up his third. Johnson has only scored one point in the second half for Ohio State. He had eight in the first. Darby now has to stay in front of Rock. He's allowed Bernard Rock to get around him a couple times. Big shot. Bob for three, and it's a one-point ball game. Another outstanding shooter. 40% from three-point land. Cannot let him get open looks. Bob is only one of five. So that's his first hit today. Number five to play. That's Brian Dean. Five seed Ohio State. Twelve seed Utah State. Darby finding Johnson. They'll get doubled. And lost it as he tried to go across the lane. Really blew a whistle. They're going to say he was passing the ball once he heard the whistle. Should have headed up toward the rim. Jorson picks up his third. He was making that move across the lane. Sean Daniels was quietly waiting for the double team. To put this kid's season in perspective and where he ranks in the history of watch shots. Number one all time Big Ten. There have been a lot of great shot blockers in that league. Number four all time in NCAA. Watch shots. He trails Alonzo Morning, who had those great years at Georgetown. Well, from the day he arrived at Ohio State, defensive end, pretty solid. He, he got better, but offensively, major improvements, especially in this his senior season. This is his third tournament appearance. Tony Brown flies down the lane and takes off and brings the Aggies again to within one. Boy, the percentage, the high percentage of shots that the Aggies are getting close to the rim and open looks. Surprising against a good Ohio State defensive team. Ronda Johnson again. He's in a straight jacket of Utah State double teams and Savovich working down on Bob. Darby on top. Shot clock is showing 11 seconds to find. Good help and recover by the Aggies. Not many open looks. Good crossover by Brown. That's the ball picked up by Bernard Rock and a chance to take the lead with 342 to play in the second half. Rock and Brown have been the guys. Bob for the lead. Oh, what a shot! His ball club has allowed this Utah State team to get open looks, open lanes to the basket, open looks on jump shot. Curtis Bob has hit his last two. He had missed his first four. Last two three pointers. Ten to three run by the Aggies. We've had six ties and seven lead changes in this game, and it's been a beauty. And a travel called on Darby. Another Buckeye turnover, notching. They're 17 of the game. As you see, Wisconsin leading and a four-point lead for UK against Holy Cross. Here, the 12 seed Aggies of Stu Morrow on top of the Buckeyes, 56-54. 
It says Utah State shooting 45% for the game, but 64% John Sunbold in the second half. Had a good open looks. We talked at halftime about Brown, about Rock being more involved on the offensive end shooting the basketball. Those two have combined for 18 second half points. Utah State, the 12 seed, leading the 5 seed, Ohio State by 56 to 54 count. Bob Brown driving inside. Back to Chorson. And picked up by Martin. And here comes Ohio State. And Bob, a missed opportunity. The weak side rebound right there. This time is jump. Darby the drive into Rock and a foul called on Bernard Rock. You can tell Rock defensively quick with his feet. How close a call this one is. Really, Darby has nowhere to go. So here's Darby at the free throw line for Ohio State. A 76% free throw shooter. There's Brent Darby from Detroit. He scores in double figures. This Ohio State team is 10 and 1. And today he's got eight. The only Ohio State player in double figures is Ken Johnson, 11 points and 11 rebounds. You know, Darby, a quiet afternoon. Eight points, but only three of nine from the field. Some unforced turnovers. Now Rock must be careful because of his quickness and his penetration. He's got four personal fouls. He doesn't want to drive and pick up his fifth. Daniels down the lane. Johnson with the block. And who else? Johnson has been a one-man wrecking crew inside for the Buckeyes today. And Daniels tried to ball fake. It. Still made the block. Here's Ken Johnson. Slapped away by Brown. Diving forward as Rock calls a timeout. Good hands, Tony Brown, weak side. Once Ken Johnson put it on the floor, Knocked it away. It's our seventh tie, the sixth in the second half. 12 seed Utah State is led by as many as three. Five seed Ohio State is led by as many as five. We're tied right now in our CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Points off turnovers for complete tournament coverage. Go to cbs.sportsline.com. Well, yeah, think of 19 to 5 edge Ohio State again. 18 turnovers. And the Aggies of Utah State only three. They have taken care of the ball. They've gotten a high percentage of shots, especially this second half. Groundwork on uh, Samovich. Now feed to Bob on top for Rock. Good defense by Samovich coming around. Possession Ohio State. He read it perfectly. He left Tony Brown on the weak side. Rock popped up. Samovich came over. Simply took the basketball. Outstanding. The switch there. Communication. Good play by the junior. Solovich will check out for Ohio State. Connolly will come back in. Connolly has been a very big force in this second half for Ohio State. Perfect three of three from the field. Two of those three pointers. Got to stay with him. Here he comes up the top. Foul inside. Jorson was. Jousting with Johnson. Ohio State is going to simply run Kevin. They screen the screener. Conley was going to screen across for Johnson. Then Williams was going to go right down. Or excuse me, Martin was going to screen for Conley. You have Johnson, one option. You had Conley coming up. Conley was wide open. Johnson hits the first a crucial free throw. And most of the free throws have been by the Buckeyes today. And coming up next. 13th seed Hofstra will take on 4 seed UCLA. That will be our game here in Greensboro. Creighton, Iowa should be a great matchup. Yeah. Dana Altman's got an outstanding ball club. One time they were winning 10 in a row in the end of the regular season. They lost in their postseason tournament with the Blue Jays of Creighton. For the lead, a three-point shot and a rebound by Solovich. Well, Bob hit hit two coming off screens. They set him up again. Open look. A more difficult shot to fade away from the side. Utah State has not scored in the last two and a half minutes. Derby inside. Somehow chiseling his way for two. The value of his play down the stretch in Big Ten play. Been able to do that. Not as much this afternoon, but when they needed it, he did it. Brown went inside. His cocked right shooting hand was hit. 
And a foul called on Ohio State. Right now, the Buckeyes on a six to nothing run and a four point lead with 50 seconds to play in the second half. Solid second half. You see his numbers at the foul line, the man that the Aggies want there. Brian Brown frustrated that they called that foul on him. Thought he had all ball. Donnelly checks back in. Martin will check out. Now Brown at the free throw line with his coach Steve Moore watching positionally for the end. And what Jim O'Brien has done is put in a small lineup with Ken Johnson, the ball handlers, free throw shoot. Timeout taken by the Aggies, who trail Ohio State 60 to 58. Stu Morrill has one timeout remaining for the Aggies of Utah State. Ohio State has three timeouts, a full and two thirties. And let's talk about what Jim O'Brien has told his Buckeyes. Well, one thing is the four guard lineup right now. This is a Part that scored 62 points in the second half against Penn State when they were down 20. They can all handle the ball, good free throw shooters. They can space the floor, good outside shooters. Ken Johnson in the middle. Utah State goes back to the zone. Ohio State can run the clock then. Up by two, they still want a good look. They've got good shooters that can space all across the floor. See the shot clock, and here comes Brown by Rock, dishing outside. Sobovich with the miss and a rebound by Rock. Utah State has one timeout remaining. They're down by two. Jorson, Brown. They use the timeout. They burn their final timeout with 8.8 .8 seconds remaining. The 12 seed Aggies will have the ball and maybe the last shot. Utah State have been. Going back and forth this entire second half, Utah State uses their final timeout. Stu Morrill will have 8.8 .8 seconds with which to work, and what do you call here? I expect Bernard Rock to have the rock. I mean, he's going to have it in his hands. Always have to watch the guy taking it from the out of bounds. Daniels is going to pass it in plenty of time. 8.8 .8 seconds. Best shooter is Brown. Brown against Brown. Inside. For the tie. Yes! How about the pump fake? Not only once, but twice. And Ken Johnson, of all people, we're tied with 1.8 seconds to play. Welcome, folks, to the NCAA tournament. Tony Brown with 1.8 seconds has tied this ball game. And take a look as he goes inside. The best shooter on this ball club once, twice, gets Johnson off his feet. The release. Perfect to the sideline. With one deceptive move after another, and that's against the best shot blocker in college basketball. Now, Sobovich with the ball can run the line. He can run full baseline. You've got Ken Johnson, the toss play. You throw it up in the air, see if he can catch, make a play. you got plenty of time. They're going to guard the ball, though, Daniels. Throw it high. Sobovich. Oh, good catch. Down for the game. Oh, what a good play. Got a good look. Overtime. Guys had a chance. Two jump shots down the stretch didn't go. Overtime between the Aggies and the Buckeyes from Greensboro. With John Sunbold and Charles Davis, Kevin Harlan from the Coliseum. Greensboro, North Carolina. This is the East Region. First game, 12 seed Utah State and five seeded Ohio State. We are tied for a seventh time in the second half for the eighth time in the game with eight lead changes. You just saw the overtime records of both. This is the first overtime game for the Buckeyes this year. Well, I think Utah State, Kevin, the second half changed. In fact, they didn't pound it into Jorson all the time. Now, he's had the most shot attempts, 13, that he's had all season. But it's been the guard play, Brown and Rock, that's brought this ball club back. We are tied with the 12th seed Utah State and the 5th seed Buckeyes of Ohio State. 
welcome those of you watching the Kentucky Holy Cross game. Here comes Brown. Looking for Sovovich, who takes it down the lane, dumps it inside to Tim Martin. And a whistle. And a foul is blown inside on the Aggies, and it goes on Daniels for a third time. The Aggies come out of the Big West Conference, Ohio State, and at large berth out of the Big Ten. You see the ties, the lead changes, the turnover story. 15 Buckeye turnovers in the first half, yet just three in the second that got them back in. Rebounding has been completely dominated by Ohio State, 37 to 20. And to start this overtime, Stu Morrill came out, man-to-man -man defense. They've been in that zone most of the second half. Bernard Rock, remember, has four personal fouls. And he is tied for the Yankees scoring lead at 16. The and pass. Oh, and look at the pass and look at the drive inside by Curtis Bond. Talked about the soft hands of Sean Daniels. Good vision, good pass, right on the money. Darby the drive on Daniels. Bob got a hand on it. It was intended for Brown, setting up on the baseline. It's off the Yankees. Shot clock at 24 seconds, big clock at 412 here in OT. Here comes Martin. Feeds a son of it, she's out of Yugoslavia. Ohio State has shot 52% in the game. Over 60% shooting by the Aggies in the second half. And Utah State picks up a foul, and it's on Johnson inside. He's got four. And Ken Johnson will go back to the foul line. The low post works. Sopovich gets it in there. Oh, that's a tough call. That is a tough call. Not much bumping going on there. The free throw difference, John Sumble, in this game now significant. 10 of 15 shooting for the Buckeyes from the stripe and the Aggies. Have only gone three of four this afternoon. Yeah, I don't think that's surprising. This Aggie team has not been able to score near the rim, so the penetration hasn't been as much. They've relied on the jump shot in the second half. Buckeye Ball Club has continued to take it to the rim. They tied again. Daniels hands off to Brown, picked up by Somovich. Here comes Curtis Bob with a couple late first half and second half shots. Here comes Rock. Brown, working on Brown. Inside for Daniels, shot clock at seven, up and off. Through the hands of Jorson, retrieved inside and put down. Oh, what a shot by Curtis Powell. Bob active on the offensive boards. Knocked in, you mentioned a couple jump shots. The force by Daniels, Jorson can't get a hold of it. Bob. Goes back up, Savovich with almost a swing. He'll blow the whistle every time, and the ball forced in. Back in is the freshman, Zach Williams, leaving is Martin, and at the free throw line is Curtis Bob of Utah State, a school in Logan, Utah. 12 seed coming in, 83% free throw shooter is Bob. Now with three and a half in our first overtime, it's the Aggies equaling their biggest lead of three. What defense have you and led Utah way. State in today? This so zone defense has been effective because Ohio State has stood around a ton. They were better when Connolly was in, more effective when he came in. Movement was better, more open shots. Brown, the crossover on rock move. Rebound by the seven foot of Jerson. Hits the deck, called for the travel. It goes back to the Buckeyes. Good move by Brown. Shot in and out. Crossover was well, a difficult shot. Moves the basketball. Jerson, the small bump. He's got to stay up. Utah State is Connolly comes back in. He was a force in that second half. Savovich will sit down. Utah State gets in by winning the Big West postseason tournament. The Buckeyes received an at-large berth with an overall 20 and 10 record, 11 and 5 in the Big Ten. Intercepted by Daniels. Buckle up for Paul. Great steal. A tremendous finish. Daniels set him up. 
It's the biggest lead today for the Aggies of Utah State. Another turnover perfectly read by Sean Daniels. Stepped in the passing lane. A nice assist. State turnovers this afternoon. Understanding your scouting report, Sean Daniels perfectly read this play. They were going to set up a little over the top pass, stepped in the way to teammate Bob, the easy finish. Yeah. Aggies up five, Kevin, and confident. Their biggest lead for this 12 seed Kevin Harlan, John Sunbold, and Charles Davis in Greensboro. Ohio State is led by as many as five. Now the Aggies up by five. Here's Brown, Connolly on top. Back to the four guard set for Ohio State. More movement. Better shots. Got to penetrate this zone. Either Brown or Darby. Shot clock at seven. Drive by Savovich. Conley, Darby for three. And a rebound by Ken Johnson. Backpedaling inside. They shove the way to get the rebound and the foul called on Connolly. Actually, they've gone Johnson. On Johnson, the, right. Going over the top. In the shot clock, Ohio State has had problems with because they stay in in this offensive set. This shot out of the corner, and you'll see Ken Johnson. A little bit of a bump. Doesn't agree. Now a one on one. Ken Johnson's been great today, 11 points. And 11 rebounds. At the free throw line is Jorsen, who is from Belgium, a seven foot senior. And he gives the Aggies their biggest lead. Are we going to see our first big upset of this tournament, John? What do you think of the, the jump shots that Ohio State has missed down the stretch of this game? Some opening. A 7 nothing Utah State run. And the pressure not to make steals, but to take time off the clock. Staying in the zone, the Aggies. Here's Brown. Over to Darby. Well, almost traveled. He did. Might have traveled. Brown the drive and the three. Good. Tough shot. Rock right in his face. Wanted a push off. Brian Brown is the leading Buckeye scorer. And today, Brown is put in 10. Ohio State. Has hit one field goal in overtime. Each team now with a single timeout remaining. And it is 69 65, 12 seeded Utah State. The team foul story. And the Yankees will inbound with Sean Daniels. Full court pressure. Yeah, again, the four guards quick. Out there for Ohio State. We'll chase the ball, double team. We get Utah State. Good ball handlers, good free throw shooter. And a foul quickly called on Ohio Except State. Except Daniels on the free throw line, 44%. <laughs> he has been first team all Big West for two consecutive years as Sean Daniels. Coming in weighing about 260 pounds. Defensive player of the year. But this is one area that he has struggled. Shot looks good there, though. Very nice. Coming up next, here in Greensboro, we've got a good one with 13th seeded Hofstra from the New York City area against UCLA, the four seed. Rebound by Ken Johnson. Buckeyes have to push and look early. Didn't waste a lot of time. Ron Savovich. And a good save by Darby. Absolutely, and a timeout taken. That is the last Ohio State timeout. Down by five with 1.14 to play. From Greensboro in the East region. Ohio State took the last shot in regulation. Missing, we were tied in uh, the last portion of that second half which brings us to overtime and Utah State has been great in overtime three of four from the field four of five from the free throw line scoring on five of their seven overtime possessions Here comes Brown dancing on Daniels with a good corkscrew move shoving it up and Ohio State foul 
Got Johnson again. And Johnson picked on again with his third foul and 107 to play in Ohio State out of timeouts. And you think of the 12 seed, 5 seed matchups, and they always talk about it two years ago. SMS knocking off Wisconsin, Steve Alford's ball club down in Springfield, Missouri, and then Detroit knocking off UCLA. Last year, no knockoffs, but close. Right. Kentucky St. Bonaventure, double overtime. And Butler losing to Florida, Florida the 5 seed. Mike Miller the buzzer, coast to coast. Biggest lead right now for Utah State. Rebound by Johnson again. The Buckeyes with no timeouts. It's still a two possession game. Brown inside, saves it. Or did he? Nope, couldn't get a hand on it. Another turnover. 20 on the day against the Buckeyes. Good defense by the Aggies, but a lot of those turnovers. Unfortunately. Last year, Utah State lost to Yukon. They were a number 12 seed a season ago as well. What is interesting about the 12 seed in the tournament, at least one number 12 seed has advanced to the second round in 10 of the last 12 years. And we may be seeing that trend continue here. 56 seconds to play. Bernard Rock at the free throw line and this will be his first free throw of the game. How about his second half in the locker room at five points only one assist second half now has 17 exploded in the second half four rebounds four assists. And I think what happened at halftime the change instead of just throwing it to Jorson inside and challenging Ken Johnson because that was not effective. Utah State team went back to doing what they do best. More guys involved in the offensive end. Utah State on an 11 to 3 run. And upset in the making. Rock held by Brian Brown. That's five on Brown. 38 seconds in overtime. Well, how about Stu Moore? Job he has done getting his team to come out to North Carolina. They were hoping to get something out west so their fans could be closer to home. They went to Birmingham a year ago to lose that game against UConn this year. Out to Greensboro. Talking to Coach Morrow yesterday, thought, you know, we could have been in Boise maybe. It's, you know, it's close enough, but, but not a big home court advantage. Could have been in San Diego. Utah State 27 and 5 coming in enjoyed the best start in the history of their school this season 21 and 3 and as we told you early in our game the 27 wins they came into this tournament with the third most in college basketball and 55 wins over the last two years puts them fourth behind Duke Iowa State and Michigan Greg State in New York will keep you updated on Utah State and Ohio State but right now in Boise Idaho final seconds Georgia State and Wisconsin. I knew they were going to go inside. Good strong move. You can see Campbell giving up the position. Rashad going underneath the arms. That's just a good, smart, senior veteran move to draw the foul on Campbell with 3.2 seconds left to go. We'll see if there's ice in those veins of Rashad. Seven of nine from the line. As you look at Gunsby and that Panther bench. Oh, this is the face of March, the madness okay, that goes with these tournaments. Right now, I mean, you know, Utah we State all thought about the possibility Ohio of State Lefty Drizel, who coached at Maryland, the possibility of a matchup between Georgia State and Maryland if Maryland is able to defeat George Mason. But right now, these free throws by Wisconsin's Brazil are at hand. Brazil this season, 73%. Eyes the first. Oh, boy. Oh. And I got to tell you, that second one is going to be a lot tougher to make. You missed the first one. 
Rashawn now seven of ten. Badgers, some can't bear to watch. Missed it. One point two seconds remain. Badgers have to foul. And the Panthers will go to the free throw line. Under pressure situations, that first free throw is so critical to make. As you watch the excitement and the enthusiasm and the hard work all season long of Lefty and his squad has paid off. Yes. With one point. So Georgia State up one with one second to play. Let's send you back to your game in Greensboro, North Carolina. Rejoin Kevin Harlan and John Sunberg. What a great win for that program. Daniels grabbed the rebound and was shoved inside. And Utah State is seven and a half seconds away from their first NCAA tournament win since 1970. Coming in, playing a Big Ten team, and you have five total turnovers. That's a season That's low. Season low. Nine before. First tie, John, at 62 in overtime, and since that time, Utah State has gone on a 14 to 3 run. And everybody's stepping up their game. Curtis Bob, 14 points in the second half. We've talked about Rock. How about the big shot by Tony Brown to send this thing to overtime? Finally with a three. And our first upset of the NCAA tournament. And for the 11th year in the last 13, a number 12 seed has advanced to the second round. So it's all over in green.